It's all the time. Them stale ass, um, uh, pedophile joke shit. It's very funny. You know why? Because when I was 20 years old, I was in jail. And I didn't even know that my wife, I didn't mean, I, I didn't even start dating my wife until she was 20. And I got married to her a year later, almost a year later. It was 11 months. And we've been married for five years today, asshole. So, bruh, let me tell you something like this. If you want to know about me, ask me. And my street name is G Money. I'm from St. Louis. G Money. And um, I love to fight. I could have boxed. But when I went to the gym, they said that once I box, my knuckles is a felony. I said, no, sir, I can't do that. But you want to know how I thought about boxing? When I was beating this shit out of dude, fuck you mean? When I 18, I used to smash people, kids. Get out of line. Get out of line. I'm gonna break your ass down, bro. I like to fight, bro. That's what you cow and forget. I don't look at size, bro. It ain't the size, bro. Because guess what? Let me tell you something like this. The smallest thing can have the hardest hit, and the biggest thing can have the softest hit. You know, I I, I was hit by a person bigger than APB. And I'm like, damn, did he hit me? I'm like, come on, I felt like a bitch here. I don't give a fuck how much you work out. I don't care how much you work out. You got to know how to use that bitch. Come on, bro. Second of all, let me tell you something about that. You don't remember the call, bro. I remember you straight crying, bro, on the call on my phone, like, Take the video down. I adopted them little girls. Me and my lady adopted them little girls. Take the video down. And I told her, I said, well, you know, you got to apologize to my wife. Oh, oh, put it on the phone. I'm like, man, you, my wife at work. Well, I said, well, you know, you got since you put her on YouTube, you got to apologize on YouTube. No, sir, I can't do that. No, sir, I can't do that. <laughs> Yeah, you know, please take the video down. Yeah, you know, please take the video down. Please. This wife on the phone. Always old lady. Take my daughter's down. I'm like, ma'am, calm down. No, just take my daughter's down. Ma'am, calm down. I talked to them so calm, collect. Bro, this is what y'all felt real life. When y'all was doing that plan on my phone, y'all ain't like that. Y'all know why y'all ain't like that. Because guess what? I'm, I'm more telling than y'all will ever be. Y'all call me all the names you want to. Guess what? Crack jokes, I laugh at the bitches. I guess that means I crack, I cr I crack y'all schools or something. Cause that's what I take out of it. Like you call me a crack, oh, uh, oh uh, uh, yeah, crack your school, smoke your cr school, crack. <laughs> wow, crack your motherfucker jaw. That's what I take out of it. So you ain't saying shit. Every time you put the crack jokes and all that, and sometimes you want to put the little pedophile thing, bro. Guess what? You know you sick to even think about a 20-year-old looking at a 10-year-old. I have a 10-year-old daughter that turned 10 last month on the 5th. So for you to ever think that, that's sick. That's what that's that's what, that's where the pedophile is. Because when you can think about a grown man grooming, grooming me, you had to think about what, how could I groom it? That's sick. But you want to call me the pedophile? Mm. You want to call me the pedophile? Huh? Huh? Who would ever put in a mind? You have a you say you have a seven year old little girl. Why would you even let that go through your mind? That's sick. That a twenty year old. Ugh. That turns my stomach. But I'm gonna quit talking about that because that, that 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 really like I have a ten year old daughter. That like I would break a mother. Listen, if a fifteen year old, sixteen year old, twenty year old, anything, fuck my daughter. Y'all gonna see me on. Y'all gonna see me for first degree murder on everything. I'm talking about. I ain't, I ain't talking about shooting the boy. I'm talking about I'm going to take these knuckles and beat his fucking face in. Nigga, I want him to feel every part of it. But let's get to your boyfriend. And I ain't talking about uh uh APB right now. I'm talking about that nigga, the coward, WD. He say, call me a roach. 
And then I responded on the thing on Salt Time page. Step on the roach, pussy. Hmm. Hmm. What did you cow would do? Delete the comment. But guess what? Bro, buy you some of these. You so bum, you live with your mama. Live with your mama, bro. You wanted to be on the team so bad, bro. You need to jump from the team to team, bro. You didn't have no mouth until you ain't had no 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 mouth until I was beefing with Kwame. For you to let the, for you to even sit on them pages and let the motherfuckers say, oh, I came up off of APB. No. I started with Kwame first. Cause he was cause he was trying to say his dogs were staff, and I knew his dogs weren't staff because I had papers on my dog. And I know the ingredients to staff. Use a fucking pussy. Use a pump. You who listen, this is my point of it is how could you talk shit when you outside with flip flops on like me? Walking all through neighborhoods, picking up dust and all that. Then you then you then you taking you taking your dog and then your dog pick on your mama cat, you's a pussy. You's a pussy. Hope they can't catch that dog in his eye and pull that motherfucker out of his socket. Cause he's a fucking bully. He ain't no gang dog. He's a fucking that that, that that's that terrier part. That, that's that terrier and that motherfucking hound in him. That's why he dig in the ground. And that's why the fuck he attacked little prey. He ain't he ain't do nothing to the hound when he out when he stuck his head under that gate. That hound could have grabbed his ass. If that hound was any other dog, your dog would have been pulled under the gate because he stuck his head under the gate. You let your dog stick his head under the gate. Come on, bro. Ain't no gang in that dog. You talking about some oh Oh, cause he don't make no noise. No, he don't make no noise cause he don't you never heard him bark. You don't even know if he can bark. You don't even know if he can growl. Fuck is you talking about, bro? He ain't no tested dog. He's only him by himself. He is not a tested dog. You don't have no friends that had dogs like him. We would have seen you being around them or walking with them or anything, bro. Come on. Come on, bro. You wanted to be so much of my team, bro. You wanted to be on the team, bro. Like, I I, I didn't know. You was big. You see who I fuck with. I, I weaned out the fake-ass niggas and the coward-ass, bro. And I knew you was a coward. That's why I fucks with Sheba on them. And you know it. That's what you hate. That's why you on my... That's why you mad, because you thought... You and Bando thought y'all was going to be in that spot. Y'all know, know I got that real knowledge, and I'm the real motherfucking knowledge. If I had, if I owned that motherfucking fast lane dog, APB, you'd be dead in the ground with it. Yeah. See, this the point of APB, WD, and Bando know the truth that I got papers. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. When the hell they ever listen? They ain't never heard me say I ain't have papers. Ain't no chick they can ever put up and say I ain't I said I never had papers. I ain't never said that. So when you say stupid shit like that, bro, you gotta think about it. You you guys are cowards. Y'all punks. Y'all look skirt tactics and that shit is old, bro. I just wanna fight. I just wanna fight. Fuck it. Let's get let's get this off our chest. We got animals, let's get out of our chest. Look. Motherfucker. ABB, oh, we can go to rain, man, bro. I ain't. I listen. I could have been in the ring. I don't do rain. I don't do rain. Come on, let's let's do. The, listen, your mouth running streetwise, and you talking about on the porch. See, the term on the porch is if you're not ready for having dump out and fights, then stay on the porch, cause that's what that's what's off the porch. See, you dumb motherfucker be trying to spit that hood shit, and you dumb and little motherfucker be acting like y'all hood, but ain't none of you motherfuckers hood that say you African American. Because when he say this shit, y'all should help him know that that means stay on the porch, because you can get dumped there, killed, or get your ass beat the fuck out of coming off that porch. But real hood people don't know that. I'm from St. Louis, STL, 314. Look that shit up, bro. Nigga, we one of the top murder city, bro. Top murder city. We seeing 200 some murders. What are you talking about a year? Come on. This is the real fucking jungle, bro. If you surviving this bitch, you gotta be gangster. Because fuck boys get killed. Niggas talk shit get killed. Niggas get stepped on. Niggas talk shit. If I'm gonna get their head busting in the club, shot at in the club, shot at after the club, because they run their mouth like you pussies in the loop. You boys ain't fitted for St. Louis. 
You can talk all that rah rah shit. This about your state. This about your state. You motherfuckers ain't equipped to even live in the three one four. Cause you have been got stepped on, and I ain't even saying that little. This is the kill party. The females in St. Louis, no real niggas. De- Listen, they cut like us, but they just got pussy, bro. They no real. N- they will put your lame ass out there. Soon as you get to run your mouth, that that that, that tough shit on my kid. Oh, let me go call a little homeboy from the hood. They gonna come through and smash your ass. And if you got some money, they going in your pocket, bro. You better better no, bro. This the loot, bro. This the wild nigga. This the jungle, bro. This the jungle. We got beasts, lions. We got everything in here. Everything. From pussy cats to, to lions, bro. You better know. I'm the motherfucker beast. I can't be tamed, bro. You better ask anybody. My mom the one told me that. She's like, bro. She say, I don't fear them doing none of you. I fear you taking, they, taking them from their mamas. And like I told my mama, I'd rather they mama cry than you cry. So quit playing me, bruh. Because guess what? At the end of the day, I can, no, I, listen. I ain't no bus ride. I'm a driver, bruh. So you better quit playing with me. Stay in your lane. WD, you, you, you want to be on the team. You never be on the team. You see, I, I wean your bitch ass out and you're mad. That's why you're mad. That's why you're jumping on everybody's page. So I'm, you're mad. He mad because he wanted that spot, bro, because he know I'm the realest, bro. He need that knowledge. He don't know what to do with that dog. That's why I listen. After he could fuck me, he do anything with the dog. Anything. Remember the dog jumping the hoop? Now nah, 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 that. You, you, he, wants to, he wants to look up to me and Sheba on her. That's what you want to look up to, bro. That's what you mad about, bro. You just trying to find some team to stick on. Hey, guess what? When you shoot video, bro, you're not getting enough views. You're not getting enough comments. Ain't nobody even give a fuck. You're not even a factor. You guys that be making videos, you guys not a factor. We got one guy got two this, two partners on that bitch. It could be him and Southtown. That's two. Or him and WD, that's two. Or WD and Southtown, that's two. You you mad because my numbers look good. And y'all trying to make, make it seem like APB is a part of it. No. No, 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 no. Facts is the part of it, bro. Because people don't friend people just because they be with somebody. They friend them because something they see, they been thinking. So, bro, guess what? Everything I said about Kwame, Kwame knew what the truth. That's why he shut the fuck up and quit showing them dogs. APB knew I was speaking the truth. That's why he shut the fuck up and quit showing his dogs. Come on, bro. So, quit talking because you guys ain't talking about nothing. You motherfuckers is fearing the fucking rapper of me. You, that's what the fuck you are. You're friend the rap of me. That's why the fuck you up here crying and shit. You bitches. Man. Hey. APB. You see these clowns that you existed? That you, 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 that support you, brother? You got a cry, baby. You got a motherfucker bum. A bum. Call somebody a crackhead. Nah, the crackhead one can't even buy no socks. You ain't buying no socks, bro. You don't got to wash or dry it. Hey. Move out your mama to find your own bitch player. Why you trying to? Why y'all trying to talk about my wife? Get move the fuck out. My wife go to work every day. We, listen, my wife worked through when every motherfucker else was getting unemployment. Like I said in my last video, we weren't getting unemployment. My wife was still going to work, bro. That means she a fact at a job, bro. Y'all bitches ain't factors at job. Y'all was on unemployment. <laughs> fuck out. We know. Listen. WD, we know you live with your mama. Why you always talking shit? You walk into the store, get bread for your mama. You walk your mama dog. That's your mama cat and dog. Then you got your little dog. Ooh, you's a bum. You still live with your mama. I don't give a fuck if you 18, 19, 21, 22. You's a bum. You's a bum. You's a bum. I haven't lived in my mama house in. I'm 36. Oh, Shit, I think I moved out my mama house at like 17, 18. Fuck you mean, bones. Goodbye, man.